For some time now, Gurikala Bohara has been visiting the outreach clinic in Tapa regularly. Two months ago, she gave birth to her second child, a boy, and she is coming for his checkup today. Already during her pregnancy, the 25 year old woman had sought medical care. During the birth of her first child, she had nearly died. <laughs> A case like this was not uncommon in Tapa. This village of 800 inhabitants lies in the deep northwest of Nepal. On the overland route, the journey from the capital Kathmandu to the remote district takes three days. And even those who can afford to fly have to walk for another half day to Tapa. Nepal as a whole is a poor country, the northwest is particularly disadvantaged. In early October the landscape looks green and lush, but for most of the year it is either cold or dry. In general, the crops only provide sufficient food for four to five months. The result? Poverty, malnutrition, health problems. People in Mugu are largely cut off from education, jobs or healthcare services. When someone falls ill, it takes hours or days to get them to the nearest health post. Also die, die meisten Gesundheitsprobleme hier in der Gegend hängen nach wie vor mit ähm, dem schlechten Hygienezuständen, schlechten Ernährungszustand und auch mangelnden Zugang zu Gesundheitsdiensten zusammen. Das heißt, unsere Mitarbeiterinnen sehen sehr viel Durchfallerkrankungen, Wurmbefall, ähm, Atemwegserkrankungen, die zum Teil mit dem Rauch von Kochfeuern zusammenhängen. Um, Hautinfektionen, Augen- und Tierinfektionen und natürlich viele Unfälle und uh, Verletzungen von der körperlichen Arbeit, die die Leute betreiben. In the past, the people of Tapa too had to walk very far for medical care. But since March 2016, the village has an outreach clinic run by Face Nepal. Face Nepal and the support organization Face Austria aim to improve health, education and livelihoods in remote and resource-poor Himalayan villages. In doing so, FACE does not want to build a parallel system to the government health services, but closely cooperates with local authorities and communities using existing structures. Its starting point are government health posts, most of which are poorly equipped and intermittently staffed. FACE sends medical staff, improves the equipment, provides additional drugs and offers supervision, training and monitoring. In the context of its program for the improvement of health care for mothers and children in Mugu, FACE has been running four health posts and two outreach clinics in six communities since March 2016. When FACE staff in Tapa open the doors, the patients are already queuing. Many come from surrounding villages and have already done a few hours of walking. Here, and in each of the health posts, FACE employs two experienced auxiliary nurse midwives and one assistant from the village. They live here and can be available all hours. FACE has a particular focus on maternal and child health. While Nepal in general has made progress on these issues, child and maternal mortality is still very high in the northwest of the country. Zum Teil liegt es an, dem, an der Mangelernährung und zum Teil halt daran, dass es keine Gesundheitsdienste für Mütter gibt. Das heißt, die meisten Frauen entbinden ohne irgendwelche professionelle Hilfe zu Hause und wenn irgendwas schief geht, dann ist halt niemand da, der, der das behandeln kann. Daher sterben manchmal Mütter an Dingen, die eigentlich auch leicht zu behandeln sind. Simplen Infektionen, simplen Blutungen und Kinder eben oft 
weil sie wegen der Unterernährung so geringe Widerstandskräfte haben an simplen Durchfallerkrankungen oder Atemwegserkrankungen. In Mugu, 60% of children under 5 years of age are stunted and up to 20% are severely underweight. In addition to treating acute illness, FACE relies on prevention and improving nutrition. Employees go on door-to-door -door visits and conduct health education classes. One day a week they provide health care to people in even more remote places. In addition, FACE offers literacy courses and empowerment workshop for girls and supports kitchen gardening to provide people with high-quality food and market produce for an additional income. With this approach, the organization can demonstrate clear results. Since the project was launched in March 2016, there have been roughly 25,000 patient contacts in the six Mugu communities. The number of children treated in the health posts has risen from an estimated 1,600 to almost 4,700 annually. The number of women delivering their babies with professional support has doubled. But there is still a lot to do. We would, if we could, like to our Einflussgebricht ausweiten. We would like to the regierungsposten stärker zusammenarbeiten, dass die Geburtszentren öffnen können, die den Frauen eben einen sicheren Geburtsort zur Verfügung stellen. Und wir arbeiten ja parallel auch in einem landwirtschaftlichen Programm. Da wären halt auch ähm, kleine Bewässerungsprogramme sehr hilfreich, weil Wasser und Bewässerung hier ein großes Problem sind. The aim is to provide communities with health care on a sustainable high level and with the foundations for an independent future. FACE also wants to raise awareness among the population that they have a right to health care and education and to encourage them to actively advocate for these rights. <laughs>